Hello and welcome to Bry Stories. It is so nice to have you with me today. It's a stunning sunny day out here in South Africa. And today we're going to cook something in the Weber. Something extraordinary. Something you won't often hear about. But something, once you've made it, you will want to make it again and again. I remember years ago when I traveled with an Australian friend of mine in Italy that we visited Florence. And in Florence we went to a restaurant course called the Ilatini and in the Ilatini they did things very very different to the way we are used to it. They used to do these whole T-bones. They were cooking it and then once it was cooked they would then cut it into slices. And this different way of cooking was so juicy and so super sensational to say the least that I will never forget it. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the king of cuts namely a bone-in lamb saddle and we're going to roast this lamb saddle inside the Weber with some veggies. We want to keep it simple because the lamb has got to be the hero of the dish. So we're beginning with cutting three onions lengthwise into quarters like this. And once we've done that, we will use five potatoes and we'll also cut them lengthwise such as this and put on the bottom of our pan. We can now also add some of this rosemary, enough of them. We want a beautiful rosemary type flavor to come through on this wonderful veggies. And then we're just going to season it lightly with some salt and black pepper. Once this is done, we can also add some olive oil fairly generously all over these beautiful veggies. What we're doing now is we add some of this beautiful Kosmeester Cortes Primeester flavor meat spice on top of the meat. There is no need to worry about the underside of the meat because the veggies has already been seasoned. We can insert it inside the Weber and put the lid on. While the meat is cooking inside the Weber, I'm quickly gonna prepare a fresh, vibrant herb and mint sauce. Absolutely unforgettable. Really lifts the flavor of our lovely lamb. We will use one and a half cup of fresh parsley. We will use four spring onions. Then we will have half a teaspoon of chili flakes, a quarter of a teaspoon salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, a third cup of extra virgin olive oil, the zest and juice of a lemon, as well as a cup of fresh mint leaves. We will put all of this inside a blender and we will blend it until it becomes a nice green fresh sauce. When working with quality such as this meat, it's only appropriate to complement the food with amazing wine such as Spears Creative Block 3 or Creative Block 5 wine. The choice is absolutely yours, but today I am enjoying it with a Block 5 from Spear. An absolutely outstanding wine. Cheers! And a quarter hours later, let's see how it looks. Oh, that looks exquisite. It should be right and ready. Let's see what the temperature is. It should be about 77 degrees Celsius, which is perfect for lamb. Just look at the potatoes, the onions, all that meat juices that's moving with into them. And it's time to take this lamb off. We are now going to cover it with some tin foil and allow the meat to rest for about 15 minutes. And it is time that we can taste this meat. Let's open it and take a look. How amazing. Simply cannot wait to taste a piece of this amazing feast. A little bit of this lovely sauce. And tasting time with a perfect wine. Mm. Absolutely unforgettable. Until we see each other again on Bry Stories.
so stunning. Just look the juices flowing out of this beautiful meat.